okay how y'all doing everybody dre james here back at it with another video and i just want to know how you feeling today you happy sunday morning no it's, it's not sunday morning afternoon how y'all i'm gonna go to 7 11 anyway <laughs> that's just how i'm going anyway hey last of us the last of us the director says he confirmed a last of us television show series because i think that's the better route of anything i was praying like please don't make that shit into a movie please don't make that shit into a movie hollywood always fucks up video game adaptations mortal kombat um street fighter it's the highest pods of them double dragon that was back in the 90s <laughs> anyway i got an article let me read it for you Okay, so director confirmed for the TV app that tasted up The Last of Us. Russian filmmaker <laughs> Kantamir Balagol. Um, wow. All right, this has been cited on Eurogamer. And it says here Russian filmmaker uh, 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 Kantamir Balagol will. <laughs> I'm saying your name right, I'm sorry. Or I'm saying your name wrong, excuse me. Um,. Will reportedly be directing in the HBO. Oh shit! Is this HBO. Thank you. That's the right network for it because they can do anything with it. You know, they can cuss. They can have explicit scenes and shit because it was explicit scenes and cussing in the games. Anyway, it's going to be an HBO adaptation of The Last of Us. Although it was initially speculated that the production would reunite. Um, Chernobyl's uh, uh, Craig Mazin with director Johan Rent, 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 whatever. Hollywood Reporter states Rent had to drop out because of the scheduling conflict, and now Balagov is slated to take the director's reins. According to HR, this this suggests HBO is aiming for a serious dramatic tone for the adaptation. Probably will be like. The Game of Thrones, you know how I, I'm not crediting the eighth season. I never watched it, but one through seven, the Game of Thrones was ex ex exceptionally good. Um, HBO greenlit the new television adaptation of The Last of Us at the end of last year, as well as Mason. The project is progressing under the watch of the game's writer, Neil Druckmann. Good. All alongside... It, it, Hey, say what you want about Neil Druckmann. He's smart. That's why he got promoted at Naughty Dog as, like, one of the presidents. Because he was vice president. Now he's, like, one of the presidents. Say what you say about Neil Druckmann. But, dude, he's smart, dude. He's smart. <laughs> Even though he killed off Joe at the first scene of the fucking second game. Which that kind of pissed off everybody. I don't know why they got pissed off. I, I mean, when they... Let me segue let me tell you about i played last of us 2 i didn't go through that game with a, a critique mindset i just wanted to play the fucking game it did allow me to like think about like damn they killed off joe real fast and that was it you know I, it, it would be better if he got killed off like when the, the game was about to end let's say he sacrificed his life for somebody in the game like his brother or Ellie or whatever, that would have been fine. You know, it's just a close to arc on Joel, but it didn't happen that way. Anyway, um, uh, the project progressing under the watch of the game's writer, Neil Druckmann, alongside PlayStation Productions, Word Games, and of course, Naughty Dog. Though little else is currently known about the project, it appears the show will follow the events of the original game. Okay, well, the 14-year-old Ellie being smuggled out of the quarantine zone by Zo uh, excuse me, Joel. All right, the Uncharted movie and The Last of Us TV show are just the beginning of Sony's PlayStation Plus Beyond Games. The company recently said, We were reported earlier this week in the video published by, oh, excuse me, in the video published to mark the beginning of SES 2021. The PlayStation boss Jim Ryan mentioned the Tom Holland Uncharted movie as well as the HBO The Last of Us show as 
just the beginning of the expansion of our storytelling into new media and even wider audiences. Sony is a creative, uh, is a creative entertainment company, and entertainment has never been more important. Ryan continued. Back in May 2019, Sony launched a uh, launched the PlayStation Productions to develop and produce film and TV projects based on the company's catalog of more than 100 games. In December 2020, Sony Pictures CEO Tony Vincicari <laughs> probably put that on screen, so I don't. I don't want to butcher that name. Said 10 projects based on Sony's video games were in production, three movies, and seven TV series. So, it is what it is, babies. It is shit. They, I don't think they're going to fuck up the television show, but they might fuck up the Uncharted movie they're going to make with Tom Holland as um, Drake. Because it was reportedly when they was first... Um, you know, like talking about making Uncharted a uh, movie, they was gonna make who's that dude? Um, Marky Mark, Marky Mark Wahlberg as Drake, and I and I would see it. He actually looks like an older Drake, but they want to go like several years before I think the game's story or whatever. They wanted a younger Drake, so they went with Tom Holland. That's when I seen it. Excuse me, that didn't sound right. That's what I saw. Now they making Mark Wahlberg as Sully. I'm like, okay, they they, they gonna make a young Sully with black hair, like like um the PSP game, um the Golden Abyss, Uncharted Golden Abyss. Um, Sullivan was a younger Sully. He had black hair. He didn't have salt and pepper hair or even white hair. He was a younger Sully. So I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be more in lines like that everybody's younger and um now with the last of us it's going to continue as as the first game if that makes sense i'm trying to formulate my thoughts it which is good they're going to start off of what we have seen during the first game where ellie was 14 and joe had to smuggle her out the quarantine zone to i think the, the, like the fireflies i forget where they was at I'm thinking Seattle. No, I'm not sure what the fuck. <laughs> but <clears throat> I don't know what kind of actors that will play Joel. Or even, hell, Tommy. Or even Joel's daughter that died in the first scene of, 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 of the game. The prologue of the game. But uh, Or even Ellie. Ellie, Joel, Tommy. Shit. Joan? What, what was the woman name? I probably, like... Through my research when I edit, I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm going to actually like figure out these names. But there was the woman in the quarantine zone. Who's going to play her that helps Joe? I'm I don't know. And then she ended up getting infected, and then she dies in the state courthouse or whatever that fucking building was in the first game. I don't know, babies. This is awesome. I don't think they're going to fuck it up because with PlayStation, Sony. Naughty Dog and some other third parties are going to be heavily influenced in the, in the direction of the TV show. So, I really don't have any worriness about this. Especially the Uncharted. They, they may fuck up the Uncharted game, but I don't think so. Because Sony is going to be heavily involved in the project. But, it is what it is. I'll see that shit when I... Um, well, I'll believe that shit when I see it. Anyway, that's it. Have a lovely day. All about positivity. Everything you do in life, make it mean something, man. Shit. Don't be saying your ass doing I mean, it's, it's good if you off of work and you just want to do the bare minimum. But do something. Go to the store. Get yourself some apple juice or something. Just get out the house. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Whatever. I love y'all. And I hope you love me too because I love people sometimes. <laughs> anyway, peace out.